The work we do is often messy. It involves many different people and processes. When we work with different groups of people, there are many moments when they come into contact with what we do. So how can we make sure that each one of these moments is the best it can be? It is important to understand how the people we're working for perceive what we're doing. Understanding their experiences can highlight problems and opportunities that are often overlooked in your everyday work. The experience map helps you reflect on how you engage with people right from the time they first become aware of your work. It is a simple tool to make sense of complex information and put it into a clear journey that will help you to take your work further. Michael is a manager at an educational publisher in South Africa. His company publishes ebooks to provide better learning experiences for young people. But schools in rural areas don't have internet or devices to access the ebooks. Michael wants to change this by bringing the equipment and technology to schools. He partners with an organization that specializes in converting old shipping containers for community use. They plan to roll out digital centers that are located in school libraries and supplied with tablet devices and laptops loaded with educational resources. Michael wants to make sure that the experience of using these centers is positive. He realizes that there are many different moments where children will come into contact with his work. He uses the experience map to document the experience of a group of school children, what they do and what they feel. He begins by noting down how one of these children first became aware of the digital center. He then tries to capture her activities and feelings when she visits and uses the equipment in the digital center. He makes a note of the outcome of her experience the moment she finishes using the equipment and what she has said about her experience when she leaves the center. Michael notes down what he has learned from what he saw and heard. Michael continues to collect more experience maps based on accounts from other children. He is able to make comparisons across this set of individual journeys to find common issues. Using the tool helped Michael to test and improve the service. The digital centers are now being rolled out in primary schools in three provinces. Young people across the region are now able to access ebooks and interact with other online learning resources.